bodoh. Red Bull. Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. We're kind of running, like kind of like in a rush this morning because we're on our way to a Valentine's Day party for the kids. The kids co-op is throwing like a little get together with all the kids. We're gonna exchange Valentine's cards. Like it should be actually very fun. I'm very excited for them. When we were in Virginia, they did like a little Valentine's Day gift exchange with their co-op, but that co-op was much smaller. So this is like their first like real like Valentine's Day events, I guess we could say. But I'm excited because they'll get to hang out with their friends. I get to hang out with my friends with the moms that I've you know made friends with like at this point I have a lot that I want to like share with you guys and chat with you guys about maybe when we get home just about things that have happened recently and making friends some of the things that we've been up to in the last couple of weeks I feel like I haven't sat down to chat about that and like the progress that has been made and some of the things that I've maybe learned about making mom friends so maybe stay tuned for that I'm literally just trying to run out the door I'm here like trying to like organize my diaper bag I had like 500 thousand diapers in the bottom of my diaper bag and I'm like what the heck why do I need these crumpled up diapers so I'm doing that trying to get ready myself like I tried to be festive right like as festive as I could get I didn't have anything red so I'm like whatever I'll put like a red bow in my hair normally I wouldn't go out like this but for their party it's fine so anyway I hope that you guys are doing fantastic I do want to thank Semper for sponsoring today's video and I actually have some very fun scents to share with you guys today I've worked with Semper now a million times. You guys know the drill by this point. They are a fragrance subscription company. You go online, you pick which fragrance you want, and then you have a 30 day supply of fragrance that comes in the cutest little like vial delivered to your door. So this is like the little spray bottle. And then when you open it up, legit like 30 day supply of fragrance. So lots of perfume. I've had the best time trying different perfumes at this point, figuring out what kind of notes I like. They sent me four to try, but these two that I have right here are some of my new favorites seriously want to go and buy the full size bottle so this one is ariana grande sweet like candy have you guys tried this it smells so good it's got like scents of blackberry and jasmine and pear and marshmallow i didn't even know that marshmallow could be in like a fragrance it smells so girly and feminine i love it and i, I can't believe i haven't tried that one up until this point point. and then the other one that i like i'm kind of trying to figure out which one i'm gonna wear today is this one Marc jacobs um daisy uso fresh i have daisy daisy itself like there's a different one called daisy and i love it but this one has notes of red raspberry wild rose and warm plum. So I was super impressed when I was smelling these. I think I might go with this one today. I feel like it's appropriate for like a Valentine's Day party. But yeah, Semper just lets you try so many different perfumes from their website, from their collection of, of fragrances. They let you try them before you commit to buying like a full bottle of these perfumes. Like now that I know that I like these, I can go and buy a full size bottle, but before committing, you get to try them out. So every month it's $17 and you get that 30 day supply. I do have a code for you guys if you wanna try it out. It saves you 55% off of your first month of Semperd. So that comes out to like $8 for a 30 day supply of fragrance. If you do that, seriously, try this one. Try either of these two out because they're so good. I will have all of the information down below in the description box. So check that out. They're honestly just so fun. And like a lot of the fragrances that they put on their website, they're expensive fragrances. Like these are like bottles that are normally like sometimes $150. They even have like some of the bottles that are like $300, $500. So you're trying out very good quality perfumes. And then the vial design is awesome. So you just like twist it and then you spray it. Fits in your purse. I can put like two or three of them in my diaper bag if I really am concerned about making sure that I smell nice. Anytime that I travel, you guys know I tell you all the time, like I just put these in my travel bag and then I don't have to worry about the bottle breaking, any of that. So I love Semper and I'm always super happy to work with them. So I'm actually going to put this one feel like so just like feminine and girly and I just love the way that that makes me smell. So anyway, thank you to them for working with me. And again, all the info on how to save on your first month will be down below in the description box. All right, are we all like pretty much ready to go to the party? Okay, I might have to get you guys some milk to drink. Sean, poor baby, he's like losing his mind over here. This is what I was working on yesterday. I was so proud of myself. I wanted to show you what I did for their Valentine. I'm so glad I went a couple weeks ago to Target and I got like some of these like uh, snack packs. So I'm gonna bring those to the party. So this is like a thing of pretzels. Look, for Jackson, I had to do like Valentine's for Riley and Valentine's for Jackson. So for Jackson, what I did was I found the cutest little like um, printout on Etsy. And they're all like construction vehicles. So happy Valentine's Day from Jackson. But then there is a Bible verse on the bottom. So love and each other as I have loved you. I don't have any 
bubbles. You're gonna get one at the party. So again, construction vehicles, they all have different Bible verses. And then on the back of them, this one's like a toolbox. On the back, I put um, like a bubble wand. And then Riley's are really cute too. So I, first of all, I made her like um, write her name on the back and then I put some Smarties. But on the front, they're like little Bible verse cards. So dear friends, let us love one another. I think it's like four different verses. I have loved you with an everlasting love. So I laminated them thinking maybe the kids can like put them in their rooms, like not just throw them away because they're pretty sturdy. Maybe use them like as a bookmark or something. And then they've got the candy. So I thought that that was very cute for their Valentine's. So yeah, should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Um, a lot of my favorite people are gonna be there. So we'll go do that. I'll maybe take a couple clips while we're there. And then when we get home, I have lots to do around the house and then we'll chat, we'll kind of have like a mom chat um, about just some stuff that's been happening. And then we'll see what else the day has in store for us. you and your tractor. Did you put it in that one? Did you skip a box? Right there? Tell you guys all about it. The kids are already wanting like their little goodie bag. This one I believe is Jackson's buddy. This one said, "Oh, this one's Riley's." Oh, look, this is where we put all their tree bags. All the kids had the cutest like little decorated boxes, and we had uh, Ziplocs, but it worked out fine. So there you go. Get Sean. It's just crazy that once upon a time ago, like I thought I couldn't do this, right? I thought I couldn't leave the house with all three of them, and now it's like. We're going out a lot more. Riley, you undid his buckle? Yes. Yeah? Oh, I was like, um, I strapped my child in, but now he is not strapped in. Hey, bud. I think he's due for a nap. Are you due for a nap? You want to go take a nap, Gordo? He behaved so good. He took a little nap in the carrier while we were out. Um, you're eating my hair. And then the rest of the time, he was just like on my lap, hanging out, looking at all the people. He's been so good when we've been going out lately. So that makes things a million times better. We've come a long way from that terrible Costco <laughs> experience that we had when he was like a month old. Do you guys remember that when I tried to go to Costco and then we had to leave because it was miserable. We've come a long way, little man. So proud of us. Kids are all like disheveled now because they were all like running around outside and stuff. Did you guys get cute Valentines? This is even like a little stretchy uh... slime thing. No, it's not like slime. It's like a sticky thing. Have that does thing? not go on Mama's furniture. Okay. okay. Goodie bag. You got a goodie bag? Oh, that's very cute. Oh, so See, you have all your friends that love you very much. No, Riley, Riley got rhino and I got a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus? But that's so bag. cute. I think it says like I'm wild got, about you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all our heart. Uh huh. Nice high five. Nice high five, not I on my furniture. Do you understand? Hi. Hi. I have an orange. Nice. Very good. Here, Sean. Here's an orange. I just put him down for a minute. But this guy's like what legit crawling. I don't know. If I'll, I'll probably get clips of him today. You can't really eat that, Sean, but you can play with it. He's crawling. You can't put him down and expect that he's not going to get into stuff. The party was super cute. Um, the kids got to decorate cookies and um, like they exchanged their valentines. And then the best thing about my friend's house is that she just has this big backyard. The kids just play in the little playground and the slide and the swings. And they just like run around and play together. But it was just a nice time. And then the moms get together and we can chat and we can talk. And like I continue to tell you guys, that is always like such a blessing and like such an answered prayer for us to be able to gather and like I can genuinely say like you know I have friends now and I don't know I, I just I hoped and prayed that that would happen but I never thought that we'd like be here like I, I didn't expect it to happen so quickly so it makes my heart so full these were all connections that were made through our co-op so i'm just very grateful for it and then i'm not sure well you guys saw the vlog where i shared that we started doing are you blowing that balloon in the background 
where we started doing that nature co-op. So we have, I think we're supposed to do another nature co-op this week. So we'll have this party. We're gonna have a busy week. We're gonna have this party, nature co-op day, and then regular co-op. Um, so like lots happening to the point where I'm like, I don't know, I'm a homebody that's like now suddenly starting to go out and I don't have time for anything because we have like a lot of social stuff to do, but it's been just like so good to challenge myself in that area and like get out of my comfort zone and do stuff that the kids enjoy because I also enjoy it. I just feel like the more that I've been like stepping out of my comfort zone, the more that like I've been enjoying it. And then these friendships are developing and it's just been really good for my mama's soul. This past weekend, I had a busy weekend. We had first, um, I had like, I was helping my friend who does social media and stuff. She's also in our co-op, but she's creating, funny enough, she's like working on this like ebook on creating healthy and holy friendships, which I think is like so perfect, right? Something that I think so many of us struggle with and I know that you guys have shared with me like you know how hard it is to make friends and make mom friends, whatever. So point is she's working on this ebook and it's gonna be awesome. She invited me and a few of our girlfriends to the park this weekend and we helped her out with her photo shoot for the ebook. So we were like the models and stuff, like taking pictures. It was just like a fun time, I left all the kids with Joe, and I got to do that in the morning. He went to this beautiful park. So I did that, and then the same day in the evening, we went to my other girlfriend's house, um, and Joe went with me, the kids went, and we like had a little like play date afternoon date with our friends. So that was awesome. Just to see not only myself making friends, but like Joe and I making friends as a couple, as like a family, because he knows um, my friend's husband, and then um, I obviously know my friends. But all that again to say, like take it as, I don't know, hopefully encouragement that if you're in a season where you feel like you can't make friends or it's hard to make friends. Like it is hard, everybody struggles with it. I'm hoping to get some tips from my friend's ebook. And you guys definitely should check it out. I'll have her Instagram down below if you guys wanna check her out. It's not out yet, but I'm like gonna definitely <laughs> be reading that. It's something that we all struggle with or most of us struggle with. And I think the biggest thing is just being like open to learning new things, open to putting yourself in new situations. When people invite you places, like saying yes, like being open to like the uncomfortable. Um, I think all of that makes it easier for you to, you know, like develop these friendships. I grew up very much like just with my immediate family around all the time, which is beautiful too, right? Like this past weekend, we also were with my mom and my dad and my sister and her husband and my brother. And like, we all hung out too. And I think that that's a beautiful thing. The kids have cousins, like awesome. But I think that there's a lot to be said about having community and having other family friends and having other friends that like you go through this season of motherhood with and you do life with. I think that can be really beautiful too. So that is something that we've been working on and I can't talk anymore because this guy needs to go take a nap. You are all full of drool and mucus. So I'm gonna go put him down. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. You love oranges? Yeah. You want me to make you that smoothie now? Yeah. The pink one? You remember it? The old one broke? Yeah. You want me to buy those vehicles for you? Yeah, because yeah, I just have one. And one is not enough? No. Are you sure? No. All right, Jackson, I have your smoothie. Mom, I don't want a straw. You have to use a straw. But I want, you remember, some, some, some grown-ups do spoons. Here. Here's your smoothie. Some grown-ups do spoons. Yes, some grown-ups. It's a little bit thick, this smoothie, but it's gonna be really tasty. This is so good. This is it's like my favorite smoothie. I'm still loving those, um, the smoothie packs from Costco. This is what the bag looks like. I haven't been in person to get them in a while, so I don't know if they still have them. If you see these at Costco, they're they're great. I've shown you them a million times, so I'm sure you're like, okay, this is nothing new, but they come in like these little individual packets, and then you mix them in the blender. I add a little bit of coconut water and orange juice, and it's just like the perfect amount of tartness, and it's like a nice little refreshing pick-me-up. So, go get these. Sean is asleep, so I've gotta try to be a little bit I don't know, like useful with my time, but I don't really know where to start. It's hard because like everything that I really need to do is upstairs and I don't feel like, I don't know, like bringing everybody upstairs at the moment. So instead I'm gonna sit here and enjoy just a little bit of silence because the kids are watching TV 
enjoy my smoothie and talk to you guys. But yeah, it's just been like a really busy time. I'm busy just being good. I think in one of the more recent vlogs, I told you guys that I took the kids to the library by myself, which was um, like a successful outing. Yeah. What? You want cheese sticks? I mean, I don't know that I have cheese sticks. I have string cheese. Is that what you're asking for? No, I make cheese sticks. Well, I'd have to find a recipe. Yeah, that's what I want. I have no idea where that's coming from. So yeah, the randomness of the day. It's like the kids are always asking me the most random questions. Like, I'm sure your kids are like that too. Um, but yes, can I make cheese sticks? I do not think so. So this week, like I said, I think we have a busy week ahead of us. I need to do school though. Like I need to sit down with the kids and do some school. So maybe I'll do some school with Riley. And then tomorrow and the next day, I feel like are my home days. And then the other days will be out of the house. But the week before last, I don't know that I really filmed too much last week, but the week before last, we were out of the house, I think almost every day. And it was so nice because the weather was really nice here in Miami. And I took advantage and we were out and about and it was lovely. Um, I took the kids to the library, which I told you guys about, but there were two times that I took the kids to the zoo. I'm not sure that I've shared that with you guys here, but I took the kids once to the zoo by myself, completely with nobody else. And that was a very big um, just win for me. And I felt very accomplished in taking them to the zoo on my own. So it's just nice to like finally feel like Sean's at the age where I can start to do some of that, where I have a little more confidence in being able to take the kids out. Of course, I had my moments where I'm like, this is scary and like being in the parking lot and all my fears and stuff, but we overcame them and we had a really nice time at the zoo. So I was able to take them. Then another day I met up with a bunch of other moms from co-op and we went to the zoo. So that was really nice. And Mimi even came with us and it was just the nicest afternoon out with other mom friends and just you know enjoying the zoo together with the kids and then we also went to a farm um there i went on my own with the kids but we were meeting other moms from co-op and then another um just like mom friend that i've made so that was super fun we went to a little farm and they went strawberry picking and they were like you know on the playgrounds and stuff so i feel like for my standards maybe you're the kind of person that you're out of your house every single day and tell me like are you guys the kind of people that are out of the house every day i have talked to some moms which I used to not understand, like, I don't know, like there were some moms that I'd meet that they're like, we need to be, I need to be out of the house like every single day. If not, I go insane. And I was always like, oh my gosh, that sounds exhausting. Which to a certain extent, I still feel like that's exhausting. Every single day out of the house sounds exhausting to me. But now I also get it because like, now when I am home, there's also cons of being home all day long because like, there's just a never ending mess. The kids are fighting. It's like overstimulation. Like, there's pros and cons to both of those things. So now I feel like I found a nice middle ground where it's like maybe two-ish times a week, I'm out and about somewhere and it feels nice. And now my sister's been over at my mom's house more often and we can like go to my mom's house and Riley can play with Everly and you know, Jackson can play with Everly and the kids can play together. And then even now it's the most beautiful thing you guys like to watch Sean with baby Grayson, which I don't even know if I've shared that my sister had her baby. Like my sister, yes, had her baby. And if his name is Grayson and he's the cutest little thing. So Sean and him are four months apart. So now Sean is a little older and he's like started to like reach for Grayson. And the other day there was like the most beautiful picture of them like holding hands, like holding each other's arms. So cute. So being able to like have friends that we can visit and going to Mimi's house and enjoy some time with each other has been really nice for my soul. Mom, so trying to open it. what are you trying to open? This hippopotamus? I'm wild about you. Hippo Valentine's Day to you. I also have no idea what I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. So that's great. Maybe we can, can you guys help me? <laughs> Let's see if we can put together some dinner. Let's see if we can look through the freezer in the fridge and see what we can do for dinner. Okay, so we have leftovers. There's that. We have a leftover piece of salmon. Do I just do leftovers? Do I do like a leftover clean out day? Joe never cares if we do leftovers. Like he's not very picky. So he would happily eat this. I have breakfast leftover. I have like bacon. We did spaghetti and meatballs yesterday. He told me he was gonna take this to work though. And look at him, he did not take this to work. 
So I don't know that I have enough for like a legit leftover night. This is what happens when you don't meal plan properly and you don't like sit down and plan. Actually, look, excuse me, I need to get in here. Maybe I'm gonna be so lazy and we're gonna do just total leftovers. I found this that I had in there from Casabana. We ordered like the other day, we ordered some Cuban food. Correction, it was not Casabana, it was Fritanga. <laughs> That's where we ordered from, okay? And I have a piece of chicken. Look how sad and sorry this looks, but I could happily eat this for dinner. A piece of chicken, some rice, and some maduros. I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but we could do that. And then Joe's is a salmon. I think that's what it's gonna have to be because I don't have anything else that I've taken out. Whatever, I think that's the plan because I don't feel like cooking this time and I don't feel like inventing anything. I actually have to place like a Walmart order, like groceries. I'm like behind since we've had such a busy weekend. I have not properly done anything in my life, basically. All right, what can I help you with, little man? You want pretzels? Yes. Yeah. We didn't end up eating a bunch of these. We had so much other food. Here you go. So I brought these back home. Is that pretzels? Okay, all right, so let's do a quick little, can we do a cleanup of this area here? We're gonna do a quick little cleanup because this can't be how the house looks like because when I bring Sean down, this will not be good. Let's do a quick little cleanup and then see what else we can accomplish while Sean is still napping. Come with me. All right. doing my best to just like put away stuff like throw up all the clothes that's downstairs it needs to go upstairs all of this clothes was in my diaper bag that was like totally unnecessary of the children so i'm gonna be putting that to wash riley's hair bows we always have like a collection of bows of riley's more stuff of the kids there's just clothes always always downstairs like look here this is the sweater i wore today i know that there's sweaters over here like this one i don't have a coat closet you guys so I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, make space in the garage or I don't know, but that one needs to go upstairs. I have, let's see how many, how many? We have this one, we have this one. Those are all mine. So I mean, I am to blame for this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Put those upstairs and I have these two dresses. One just came in from Amazon and then the other one I took to that photo shoot. It's the same dress, just in two different colors. It's like my favorite dress at the moment. But we need to put those in my room. Do you have any other clothes? I have a bunch of shoes that I need to put away. Those I wore today, but those I will likely just keep in my closet. Take those up. And then these are like my house slip-ons that I'll keep, but these from Target. I can take up. I just need to do that more often because if not, I have a collection of clothes. Usually there's clothes back here. No. We'll keep my one sweater down here. That's the one that I'm using today. Anyway, very randomly, something that nobody asked for. I have a collection of books here on the couch that I'm hoping to read during the Lenten season. It's kind of like my thing for Lent is, I'll probably talk about it in another video, but the whole thing is gonna be about using my time better, less phone time. I think what I'm gonna try to do is maybe set aside a block of time. Like I can only be on my phone from like 10 to four and then see how that goes. But point is to try to replace some of the mindless scrolling with more reading. So I have like a collection of books that I'm gonna be reading. I've already shown you M is for Mama. Highly recommend it. It is a Christian mom who just shares a lot of very good biblical motherhood wisdom. So this one is one that's like an easy read that I would recommend to everyone. Some of these other ones, 
you might not be as into but i will have them linked down below in case you guys want just some reading material or something to do over lent this is one of the devotionals that i've picked up from the company that i like to do their devotionals i finished reading the psalms one that i had been doing so this one's called growing in grace knowing and loving god through spiritual disciplines so talking about um, just different spiritual disciplines like reading the Bible, like evaluating our time. So this is one that I already had. I like had it just there in my room and so I picked it up. I'm gonna start to read that. This is one that I'm pretty sure I have already read and yet I still need help in this department but it's legit called Redeeming Your Phone Time and it's all about that redeeming it and using it properly maybe using it to glorify god but i know that i need to reread it so it's short and sweet like it's not like a whole lot of text there's a lot of pictures and stuff and reflection areas but i never like write in these books these are just books that i read so i'm gonna reread this or hope to and then i'm gonna do the lenten devotional from last year i didn't buy a new lenten devotional but I'm going to do the one again from last year that was from a Catholic company called Blessed Is She. So if you're Catholic, you might like um, something like this. But just once a day, just something, some scripture to check in on and like a story. I liked it last year, so I'm going to reread it again. And then this book is called Beautiful Eucharist. This year in like the Catholic faith, I believe they're doing like a lot of the Eucharistic revival and like just emphasizing, you know, what we believe about the Eucharist. So I think they gave this out at church, I want to say, because I did not buy this. But I'm going to try to read that and that should be short and sweet. And then I know that this is extremely ambitious because I'm probably not going to get even to like a fraction of these books. But upstairs, when I go upstairs, I'll show you the other one that I'm talking about that's more about like a little spicier because it's about like marriage and intimacy and stuff. But it's another thing that I would highly recommend you guys read if you guys are Catholic and you are into that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to go get Sean. I'm going to come back for this stuff once I get him situated. He has not really slept, but he is not going to sleep much more than what he just slept. I was trying to see if he would extend his nap and he is not, so he's gonna be angry. Oh, I hope he's not too angry. Good dog. No. No. Okay, hold on, we're gonna get you. Okay, little man. You're okay, you don't wanna sleep anymore? That's okay, I'll try later. Okay, little man, you wanna sleep? Days like today when we're out and about and he's off his schedule, like, I can't blame him for not taking a good nap. Like, it's totally my fault, our fault, that we were out and about. So I am going to just take him. We'll hang out. And then if he's really tired, then later he'll take a longer nap. Hi, buddy. By the way, his little sleep sacks. These sleep sacks have worked the best so far of all the sleep sacks we've had. I just bought him some new ones that are, like, the bigger size. But I want to say... They're either from Walmart or from Amazon. I'll link them. And there's nothing to them. It's just like wearing a blanket. It's like a little wearable blanket. <laughs> Look at the little dude. That's all it is. It's not weighted. It's easy for him to flip. And it's just basically so that he can associate like putting on the blanket with bedtime and nap time. And just to keep him a little bit warm. Hey buddy, you're not so mad. I'm probably going to talk about it more in his six month video, which I still don't even know if I have filmed for you guys. But I've gotten a lot of questions about if we have sleep trained him now that he's six months old, like what the deal is with that. And I don't really know how to answer it because we started doing a bit of sleep training, but different than how we've done it with the other kids, I would say. Like with the other kids, we were very, bless you, with the other kids, we were very like strict about it for a period of time, like two, three, four days, whatever, doing lots of cry it out. With him, I feel like it's kind of depends on the day. I've let him cry, Mommy, but do I need the light on? If, do you want to turn on the light? Yeah. Okay, Jackson's like, do you need the light on? Whoa. <laughs> um. So he's kind of like, um, so it's kind of just been different. It's like, I'll let him cry a little bit, like five, 10 minutes. And then he's been able to put himself to sleep for his naps for the most part. But sometimes like if it's like, if he's in a mood or he's teething, or if I feel like he's just gone on crying too much, I'll just go and pick him up. Sometimes I nurse him for the most part. I'll still nurse him to sleep. Um, and then kind of put him in his crib. Are you playing with your brother? Are you playing? Are you looking for your brother? 
And that's it. Um, and then at night, like I still feed him sometimes in the middle of the night. Sometimes um, I'll go in and pick him up and put him back down. Sometimes I do kind of let him cry. So I don't have like a definitive answer. Like I wouldn't say that he's full on sleep trained because he's still waking up a lot in the middle of the night. But overall, I would say that sleep is so much better. What are you guys doing? What are you doing to Sean Michael? Hmm? I'm making him laugh. You're making him laugh? That's yeah. very sweet. Do you love your brother? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to entertain him so that I can put away some of his clothes? No, I want him on the floor. Well, he can't be on the floor here and there's no rug. We need to get a rug down no, here. No, there's a pillow. Yeah, but he's going to like crawl off that pillow. So yeah, I need to get rugs for all the rooms upstairs. If you guys have any recommendations on where I can get rugs that don't cost like three and four hundred dollars, please let me know because these floors, like yes, we've liked the floors, whatever, but if I want to put him on the floor, like if I want to put Sean on the floor, I can't put him just like on this, it's too hard. So let me know. But yeah, this is what I've been doing lately. If I need to like get a couple things done upstairs, I'll put some of these toys that I keep up here here in the crib and then one of the kids will kind of like you know make faces with him and play with him and that way i can attend to a few things like this gigantic pile of clothes Mama, what i want to michael to come here to come where to the white chair he can't sit in the white chair jackson no, i want him in his bed and crawl here he can come oh like closer to you yeah maybe he will Maybe you can tell him a joke. But what joke are you gonna tell him? Ding dong. Oh, ding dong. Oh, who's there? A banana. A banana who? <laughs> a banana who? Jackson, you have to finish the joke. Ding dong. Who's there? A banana joke. A ba banana joke who? A pine cone. <laughs> a pine cone? Wow, that's a great joke, Jackson. Ding dong. Who's there? Shawn Michael. Shawn Michael who? Banana. A banana. <laughs> oh, Shawn Michael looks like a banana. What? Yeah. Are you saying that your brother looks like a banana? Yeah. Why? Because he's so long. Because he's so long. And Shawn Michael also looks like corn. Sean no. Michael looks like corn? Because corn have ears. <laughs> you see, that's a funny joke, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a second to finish sure. like, doing some of this? Yes, Riley. I love you, I love you too. Mama, we should yeah. get a new crib for Sean. Why? Because uh, this one's cracked. You're cracked. No, that's, this one is cracked. I have so much clothes in these drawers that I need to just get a bin and put it away. Like I need to store the stuff that doesn't fit Sean anymore and get it out of here because I never have any drawer space and then it's just because it's clothes that doesn't fit him anymore. So that needs to be like a project that I address right away. I think I'm just gonna put these out of here, like take them out. There's like a handful of things that just I don't use anymore. Oh, now he's screaming. So I guess that's not a project that I'm going to do because he's not going to let me. But I only want to have like pajamas and stuff that actually fit him in here. Let's see, there's some onesies in here that don't fit him anymore. Zero to three. This is zero to three. I think this is zero to three, but it might still fit him. This is zero to three. Zero to three. See, most of this was just like hand-me-down clothes. Jackson's. But these would fit him now. Look how cute. <laughs> these little shorts where it's like shorts and a tank. And it was too big on him for a while, but I bet that that would fit him now. And it was from Walmart. This is like the cutest little set. Is Are you playing peekaboo with Sean? Yeah, well, but a snakey, my snakey. A slinky? Yeah, mine. Oh, you're playing with your slinky? Yeah. Nice. I bring it up here. Look, I have even onesies from Jackson. Mama, this here. Star Wars one was from Jackson. So that one is cute. I wish I was still a baby. You wish you were still a baby? Yeah. Why? Because I love that Star Wars shirt. You like that Star Wars shirt? Yeah, because I love Star Wars. Yeah, hey. these don't fit him. 
Zero to three. Zero to three. This one, yeah, three months. Well, if we ever have a boy again, we've got lots of zero to three months. This one is three to six, so maybe I'll keep this one. Okay, well, this is life with a baby. Um, he was over being in the crib and I'm not done yet. So I did put away some of the clothes, but then I have this mess. Like I've got this I have to hang up, all of this I need to put in like a bin of stuff that we no longer use or doesn't fit. This clothes up here. So it looks probably worse than it did before, but at least I put away some of the laundry. He has a little bit of a drippy nose though. So I wanted, oh no, my glasses are gonna fall. I wanted to use the booger sucker <laughs> on him earlier and then it wasn't charged. So this thing, I love it, but the one thing is that it does take a charge. So I need to charge it so that I can then suck out his boogers. So there we go. I'm gonna plug that in and charge it so that then I can use it on him later. He is reaching for my book. This is not the book that I was talking about earlier, but it is one that I do love, Theology of the Home, and I wanted to reread it, but this one I can just like get to eventually. But it's a really pretty book about kind of incorporating the liturgical stuff into your home. It says finding the eternal in every day, but it's a Catholic book. But this is the one that I've been reading that if you also are into like theology of the body or Catholic stuff having to do with this right here, then I highly recommend it. I recommend anything by Christopher West. He does like a podcast, he has YouTube videos, but really good explanations on like what the church says about these two things here and how it's actually a very good thing. Like it's not a bad thing when it's like done according to like how God made it. This is my little night light, like my little reading light that Joe is lending me because I don't know where I put mine, but this is his. So at night I can read with the little light. So you guys ask like, how do I read? I read either at night when the kids are in bed and I have my little night light or like if the kids are content, then I have books on the couch that I like to reach for. Um, that is, <laughs> that's my light, sir. Look, okay, we gotta go downstairs. later this is my nighttime coffee <laughs> this is what joe and i have been doing lately we've been doing like after the kids go to bed we do some decaf coffee and that's not something that we've ever really done before but it's so nice to end the night with just like a warm beverage whether that's like coffee or sometimes i'll do tea but it's been like our wind down time and every day it's a little different. Like yesterday, Joe was hanging out um, on the couch and he was like reading his daily readings that he does like from his, um, I think, is it the Ascension app? I don't know, one of the apps that he reads like Jesus stuff. So he was reading his daily reading. Today, he's not joining me down here because he's working on assembling a new office chair that he got for the office upstairs. But I need to work today. I need to do some editing. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and edit. Sometimes this is when I finally get around to doing my Bible time, which honestly I need to do my Bible time because I didn't get to do it earlier today. So hopefully I can work on that too. And the only reason I'm really editing tonight is because I have a deadline with a brand. So I need to like get a video to them. This lately is just like glorious. Like it's 826, Sean is sleeping, right? So he went to sleep actually early today because he was so dead tired, but 
If I put him down around like 7.30, 7.45 is usually his bedtime, then I can count on the fact that he'll get like maybe at least an hour and a half of sleep. But usually it's more like two, three hours. It's kind of different, but we're getting like a longer stretch of sleep at the beginning of the night. And so even if it's like two hours that I get to myself with silence, without kids screaming, without kids asking for things, it's really nice. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I love, you know, my kids. I love being around them all day, but this is nice. And so this for me has just been like my time. And then after I have my coffee or whatever, then I'll go upstairs and usually I get in bed and start scrolling on my phone. I wanna be better about that and turn to reading instead. I also need to finish Suits. I've been watching Suits for like the last several months and I think I have just like a few more episodes. Like I'm on the last season, season nine, I think. I have a few more episodes left. So I wanna like finish the series, which I loved the series. I thought it was such a good show. Um, but I'm almost done with that. So maybe instead of scrolling on my phone, maybe I can replace it <laughs> with like watching a show. Since I'm not like an early riser, since I still have not yet figured out the wake up at 5 a.m., wake up before your kids, wake up the crack of dawn. Like I just, I, I can't do it. It just sucks. It sucks to wake up in the morning. I would rather enjoy like quiet time in the evening after everyone is in bed. It's just, I don't know, makes me come to life. Maybe I'm a freaking nerd. Like I just like it right now. Like I don't want to say it's my favorite time of day because then that's pretty crappy, right? Like your favorite time of the day is when no one is around, but I'm not going to say that it is bad. So anyway, I'm going to get to work. I'm not going to continue chatting. I'm not even really sure what we did today, but this was a typical day when my kids had something and my heart is so full that they got to hang out with their friends that I got to hang out with my friends and I got to hang out with you guys here and you guys got to hang out with me watching whenever you're watching. So thank you for being here. And I just hope that by sharing some of the things that we're doing and just like documenting the progress of like, hey, we moved down here. We didn't really know too many people. We started kind of like venturing out of our comfort zones. Now we're starting to build that community and like documenting that process i say it all the time like it's not for me to be like oh look at me i have friends like this is so cool it's really only to show you that it's possible and so if you're in a season where you feel lonely if you're in a season where you feel like you know you don't know how to make friends you feel like you'll never make friends you feel like you know why can't i have a mom group why can't my kids have friends like why is it so hard like I know what that feels like. And I know that it's very isolating to be like, you know, I don't know, like I feel awkward. I don't know how to make friends. Like I have to exchange numbers with a mom. Like all of the things that come with trying to make friends, being invited and then you're like anxious about it. Like, should I go? Should I not go? What if they don't like me? What if like they think I'm a weirdo? <laughs> like I have those same thoughts all the time, even still now. So I feel like it's just something that we have to work on together. And if there's ever any, insight or advice that i can share then i hope to be able to share it but just i hope it's an encouragement that it is possible and that maybe it's gonna take time maybe it's gonna be like you have to continue to put yourself out there and continue to you know like approach people and maybe a lot of times there's gonna be periods of like rejection or things aren't gonna work out or that wasn't the right group of people pray about it like i know that that sounds so corny but pray about it and pray that the Lord puts the right people in your life that are going to be good for you, good for your family. And that even like he removes people from your life that are going to do the opposite. That is my prayer every single night um, when it comes to like my prayers about finding community. So pray about it and I will pray for you guys. And that's all that I can share right now because I got to start working before Sean wakes up. So I love you guys. And if anything, I am your friend. <laughs> I am your friend here. Wherever you are in the world, know that you have a virtual friend who's always gonna be rooting for you guys and always hoping for the best for you. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Again, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you even remember that they sponsored it at the beginning, if you wanna check them out, remember I have a code that saves you 55% off. So eight bucks for 30 day supply. All the info will be down below in the description box, but I love you guys. Thank you again. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.